Okay. <laughs> okay, y'all, real quick. Do you see that praying mantis on my, uh, on my, okay, I'm trying to drive, but I had stopped at a red light. Do y'all see that? <laughs> what is that called? Review mirror? Okay, I am so glad that I have not posted my praying mantis message yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That is not a praying mantis, is it? That is not a praying mantis. That is a stick bug. What am I talking about? That is a stick bug. And I was just about to say, I'm glad that I have not pr um, uh, put up my praying mantis message yet. Because maybe there's another message. So, that is a stick bug. Okay, you guys, I have a grass. <laughs> Look at it flying. I feel so bad for it. It's like holding on for dear life. And I would never touch it, okay? I can't help it. I'm driving, though. But, okay. I'm hoping that the camera is still on this bug. Because I have to drive and I'm looking straight, okay? But this is a very long road, okay? <laughs> I'm not doing nothing but driving straight. So, but the thing is, you guys... On my grasshopper message that I haven't posted yet, why well, I have not done the spirit message for that yet? I just, I just recorded the grasshopper that I saw, but I was telling you guys that every time a bug comes in my path like this, like it's just like hello, look at me, I'm here for you to see me, then I know that this is a message. So. You guys, the butterfly did me like that. The hummingbird did me like that. But you guys, um, and um, if you haven't watched any of those messages yet, go and watch them because they are very good messages. You like, you know, specific messages. And when it comes to the hummingbird, guess what, you guys? Another one came like right in front of my car the other day. So that's just confirmation. Hey, whatever I said on that hummingbird message, I don't know. I don't remember. But that's just confirmation for that message, okay? The fact that it came back at me. You guys, I want to tell you something. I feel like this. Whenever you see bugs, um, it might be a bug that you see all the time. But if it comes right in your path, like it's just saying, hello, see me. And then spirit is going to give you a little nudge, too, to let you know, like, we are really... Um, sending you a message then that's one of like nature's signs that's a synchronicity that you should look out for okay so i'm going to post my praying mantis message and um i'm going to post the grasshopper message um and then i'm going to post this praying man no this stick book message <laughs> and then you guys okay well i'm still let me see if i can like maximize this or whatever I did. It's like blending into those trees, right? Isn't it so freaking cool? Okay, I'm driving again. I gotta go, you guys. Bye. Hey, y'all. Peace on earth and love and light to you. So, basically, this message is just a channel message. And, um, because, do you guys see where the stick bug is at now? And... I don't think I'm going to pull any cards. Sometimes I like to pull the cards because I just like to be wild. Like, I like to see that confirmation. And then I like to just see it. Like, I know if I would go and pick some cards, then the cards would come out confirming this. And I just like to be like, wow. Like, I just really love to see how spirit works sometimes. But uh, I don't think I'm going to pull any cards because this is the message. Okay, so let me see if I can get a little closer. Okay, there it goes. You guys see it's still there. Okay, so um, it's like right in between, if you don't see it, because it's a stick bug. It's right in between, um, like, uh, what well, is stuck, it's on my window sill. It's on my window now. So, um, you guys see that? It's on my window. Okay, there you go. It's on my window now. So, it's not on the rear view um, mirror anymore is on my window and the thing is you guys this is the message and it's a simple message because I was wondering like 
what I don't know anything about stick bugs like I wonder what they they are a sign of and I was going to google it but sometimes when it comes to these messages I just want to see what spirit is telling me because sometimes the message is different than what you know uh than what um you know than what um I'm sorry I started looking at it and I got distracted because it's moving <laughs> than what like Google can say or something okay so this is kind of the message though and um that's part of the message the fact that it's moving on up okay it's like you know every time I've encountered a stick, a stick bug okay look at it it's coming all up here now it's like I really want me to see this and I'm making sure all my windows are closed because I'm not about that life. Like, <laughs> it can't come in here or... <laughs> it's like, oh, 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 it went down inside of it. And I'm trying to channel this message. And it went down inside of it. That's part of my message though, you guys. I guess it went down to a safe spot. And that's actually what I was going to say. The message is, um, the message is just basically, um, hold on. And, um, it's funny, like, um, my aunts, I have, a, I have aunts, and they sing gospel music, and they sing this song, Hold On. And it goes, hold on and, until your change comes. So the thing is, you guys, like, when I was just, like, driving, and we got in, like, you guys know, any of you who are familiar with stick bugs, like, every time I see a stick bug, I always see it being really still, and I know that they stick to stuff, like, really easily, like, uh, well, they have a strong grip, is what I'm saying. So, um, so, the thing is, we have to be, like, that stick bug in certain circuits in certain circumstances we have to be like that stick bug because even though sometimes we're holding on for dear life and we're in what we may consider dangerous situations okay because that stick bug was holding on and I can I was just looking at it and I was just driving down the road and like I was just looking at the stick bug okay see that park over there we're gonna go there next so let me show over there so y'all can have something else to look at besides my radio. <laughs> so, um, so the thing is, it's like sometimes you may be in, um, a dangerous situation or what you may perceive to be a dangerous situation. And some of you guys, like, really tap into your intuition right now because I believe you know what I'm talking about. Because the thing is, um... You might be in a situation where you're really just living paycheck to paycheck right now. And you're scared because you're thinking, um, maybe they're going to cut off my lights. Maybe they're going to cut off my gas. Or if you hear, if you hear a sound, that's my baby playing with her balloon. And, um, or maybe they're going to come and repo my car. So you really feel like, or either, you know, you're wondering where your next meal is going to come from. And some of you might be homeless, you know, watching this video. I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos when, when, um, I had experienced temporary homelessness. And I have a video that I made a while back. I forgot to, I forgot to, like, make it public. And I'm going to make that public. How to survive temporary homelessness because I know there are some homeless people who watch my videos and um just trying to get out of the situation but the thing is be like that stick bug I mean like hold on for dear life because sooner or later the car is going to stop okay you're going to get out of this situation and then this is and then when you get out of this situation it's going to be safe for you to leave Okay, so when I came back, like, I probably rode a good 15 minutes down the road. I went inside this building here, and I handled my business, came right back out. Um, when I looked at the clock, just then it was 5, 5, 5. And, you know, I tell you guys all the time, 5 means change. So, that's to encourage you guys, five, um... Um, changes a change is coming into your life, and like I was saying, that song that my aunt wrote is called "Hold On Until Your Change Come." So the thing is, you know, that just confirms what I'm saying. Like, I mean, 
I came out and I, out of that biz, building and I came out and the, the stick bug was still there. And I was like, you know, you should have found a way to a safe place a long time ago. <laughs> I was probably in that building maybe uh, another 15 minutes. So I'm thinking maybe um, 30, 35 to 40, 45 minutes or something like that. Uh, that stick bug was holding on. So this is the other part of the message, you guys. Know when to hold on and know when to let go. Because sometimes we are in dangerous. Sometimes we have found ourselves in dangerous situations. This just may, may be a dangerous relationship or friendship. You know, and it doesn't always have to be physical. Just something that is just not good for you. This just might be be your way of life. The way you um, eat. You know, the way you take care. The way you're taking care of yourself right now. This may be anything that's dangerous. But no one to let go. Because once you see that you have got into that safe at that safe part don't stay in this don't stay in that situation let go okay now this is another message is slightly different but the same some of you guys are getting ready to come out of your bad situation okay mm -hmm. so watch my video on um on um we will i experience financial freedom and y'all know and i also have another video I'm um, coming up. Um, when is my day of manifestation? And that video is slightly different than the financial freedom video. I'm going to post that one too. And look to those videos so you can kind of get a clue of what's going on, you know, in your life. So, and then, um, because the thing is, you guys, when some of you guys are about to come out of your, um, of this hardship hardship that you're in and when you come out of that hardship when spirit has delivered you from that know how to not let that same mind do know how to let go of that that mindset of that fight mentality because you no longer have to fight anymore and that's a message to some of you who have just came out of your situation like you you know that you're doing pretty good financially now okay well then you know what it's time for you to be buying better food you know it's time for you to really take care of yourself it's time for you to um really invest in yourself that's another thing i was saying stick bugs are just used to just laying around just staying there in one spot that was the most that i saw the stick bug that, that i ever seen a stick bug move so knowing to move some of you guys need to um embrace your, your masculine energy it has nothing to do with a being a male but um i was telling you guys before on another one of my videos i used to have a problem with that because it was all about um someone who has a lot of female energy like me i just know i'm it's not about me being a female, but I know I had a lot of feminine, feminine energy. And it's just someone who um, does not, um, that really go, goes with the flow a lot and does not really know when to stop procrastinating. And masculine energy is more fast-paced and it lets you know um, when to, um, like masculine e energy can really get you to I don't want to show all these people cards so let's just look at some flowers <laughs> um masculine energy really shows you tells you like gives you like this get up and go mentality so find like videos on that on YouTube okay I had to look down right quick because someone was coming now let's look back up to these flowers okay and then, um, and if you can't get you some shaman balls, they come in too. I told you guys before, I lost my feminine one. And that's probably why. Because they say you're supposed to work with them together. And I always just felt necessary to work with them separate. Because I knew I had to work on my masculine side. So look up on YouTube. You know, those of you who need to tap more into your masculinity. So, uh, energy. So, um... So yeah, some some people need to just know the purpose of this video, when to let go and when to hold on. You know, when to act and when to be still. You know, because some people may be doing too much. Maybe you need more feminine energy, you know. And that's the purpose of this video. That is the message that that, that, that stick bug is here to bring, okay. So let me make sure that I'm not missing anything. 
Okay, yeah, that's basically it, you guys. So, um, I always like to kind of go over what I just said. Knowing when to the dimensions of the stick book, bro. Knowing when to, um, hold on and, um, just to encourage you guys to let you know that some of you guys are about to experience a, a great positive change in your life that you really need so hold on even though you know the wind might be trying to blow you off you know it gets a little it, it gets a little windy and you feel like you're in this dangerous situation hold on okay because it's not as bad as you think okay you're guarded you're protected by your angels and then also knowing when to let go when you get into a safe spot you know you have to let go don't get in don't be in um a situation that you know is dangerous and you need it's not good for you you need to let go and some of you guys have came out of your bad time and you're in a good time now so know when to let go you know of some of those bad mindsets you know what you guys this reminds me of Cardi B you know in um, whether you have my same opinion or not you know they always say you can take the girl out well i'm in a country so i always say i always say country but you can say take the girl out the country but you can't take the country out of her you know you can take the girl out the hood but you can't take the hood out of her <laughs> out of her you know or man you know it's just like once you get to a certain um once you get to a certain level in your life, you really need to let go of the immaturity. Do not stay stuck in that same um, lack mindset, um, the that same poverty mindset. You know, for black people, that slavery mindset. And anybody can be stuck in that mindset, okay? Know when to let that go also. And that is all, you guys. Continue to come and grow with me and subscribe. Um, go check out my other um, uh, videos. I think I'm going to rename them, these videos like uh, Messages from Nature or something like that. So my other nature creatures, creatures, the butterfly and the hummingbird and the uh, praying mantis and the grasshopper and now the stick bug. Let's see what's coming up next, okay? Bye. Bye. What do you want to say? Bye. Bye. <laughs>